Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. So today it's not a tutorial, it's an announcement video. So Kaboom.js, the library I've been using for making games in JavaScript, and it has been uh, the library I've been using in my tutorials for a while now, is getting rebranded and forked. So Kaboom.js is an open source library, and it was initially created by Replet. Replet is a company that used to make a code editor in the browser that was very uh, uh, intuitive for beginners but as they went along they shifted focus to do more AI things and focus more on business clients so when they were seeking to be a platform for beginners they hired someone to uh, develop the Kaboom.js library and uh, this employee that developed the Kaboom.js library called Tiga Wu has been laid off recently so Replit had a layoff which is unfortunate and this basically means that the development of Kaboom.js going forward is basically dead. There is no uh, update from the for, from Replit themselves, so it's safe to say that it is abandoned. Now, this is not the only news I wanted to talk about, and uh, yeah, it sounds bad, but fortunately, the Kaboom.js library community, so people who use Kaboom.js and hang out in the Discord server, they have started a new fork. It's called Keplay. So Keplay is now the library I'm going to use. It's basically the exact same thing as Kaboom.js, but just now with new features and fixes and bug fixes, etc. Because one thing is that Kaboom.js was on live support for a long time now, and the PRs would get accepted, but very, very slowly. But now that it has been forked and rebranded, so the Keplay is really like uh, independent from Replit, then it's now we're starting to receive a lot of um, PRs and uh, new updates and fixes, etc. So, yep, so going forward, I will probably just use Kaplay instead of going back to Kaboom.js and I'm going to update all my, uh, maybe leave, in, leave a note in all of my tutorials. But one thing you need to keep in mind is that even if you watch my previous tutorials, you can still watch them, uh, just replace Kaboom with Kaplay. And the way you do that, uh, you have multiple options. If you're using NPM, uh, so Node.js based uh, development, you use npm install kiplay, and then if you're using a script tag, you, I think it's the same thing, you use unpackage.com, and then get the .mgs file. For now, it's at the time of recording this video, there is no difference except that the package is called kiplay instead of uh, kaboom.js. So when you import it in your code, you do import kaboom from kiplay. So, yep, that's the update. And uh, one thing I want to you to keep in mind, uh, maybe give it attention to, is to join the Kaple Discord server. Now, for now, it's still called the Kaboom.js server, but maybe by the time that this video is uploaded, it's going to change. It's very important. I wanted to promote this, so the link is going to be in the description. It's where you can see the... where you can interact with other people using the Kaple library and well, ask questions, but also contribute to the development of Kaple. So there's also going to be a link for the GitHub repo for this new fork and uh, the NPM page, maybe I'm going to include that as well. So thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the future with other great tutorials. Bye. One thing I forgot to add is why the rebranding to Kaple. So the reason we're rebranding is because the Kaboom name is owned by Replit probably, and they, they actually registered this trademark in the past. And they just left us in the dark regarding the future of Kaboom.js. Uh, so because we don't have any answers and also to have a separation between the fact that this Kaplay library is really independent and community driven and has no relation whatsoever with Replit. So that's why it has been called Kaplay and used this name. The name sounds nice, I think.